Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for this service and for gathering us here today. We pray that you may manifest yourself in us through this service. Use everyone here today as your vessel for your work. Please help us to teach and learn from one another about your purpose for each one of us. Teach us to love one another just like you love us. As we start this service, may you be glorified from the beginning to the end. Please give us your peace that we may be able to listen to you. Fill us with your joy and make this service a success for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Canada will grow into missional churches. Pray that missionaries who had been away from the field due to COVID could be refreshed and have the heart to return to the field of ministry that is open to them. Pray for C Canada to further grow and revive as a ministry specialized in mission education, training, and dispatch. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Today's passage is Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene married the mother of James and Salome, Salome uh, brought spices so that they might go uh, to anoint Jesus' body. 
very early, very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, "Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb?" But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white white robe. Sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed," he said. "You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you." Trembling and bewildered, the woman women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Have you been to a funeral before? Mm-hmm. How would you feel if you visit a funeral? You will notice that the dress code is black, and the air is pretty heavy. It's not joyful at all. I don't think you guys can could、uh, play and laugh out loud there, because it is a manner to respect the respect the sorrow of the family who lost who lost their beloved one. I guess a long time ago,、um, people played games like Watu and drank a lot though. Most likely, at least these days,、uh, it's not like that. And a funeral is usually held for two nights and three days. When Jesus died and people buried his body, how do you think it was? People who loved Jesus must have been very sad, and it was so heartbreaking. On the third day. The three ladies came to the tomb of Jesus, and they were sad, so sad. But later, after they found something, they were so shocked. And I believe that that、uh, they were happy too. It it was because Jesus came back to life from the death. Today we will go through. Uh, some stories that happened in a row right before Jesus' resurrection. Jesus came to Jerusalem to celebrate、uh, Passover. Passover is one of the cele-、uh, one of the festivals of Israelites. And Passover, Passover, what they do is they remember, they remember、um, those days that、um, their ancestors escaped from、e- Egypt. The story is written in the book of Exodus, as you already know. It was about Moses and ten plagues. Plagues. Long time ago, there was the time when uh, when, uh that Israelites were slaves of Egyptians. God wanted to save them from Egypt by sending Moses. However, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Was so stubborn, so stubborn, that he wouldn't listen to Moses and wouldn't let Israelites go. Egyptians ended up experiencing ten plagues of frogs, flies, lice, darkness, and so on. And the last plague was about the death of firstborn son. To avoid that plague, Israelites had the blood of the lamb over their doors. It was the way they could save their firstborn sons. Ever since that day, they have celebrated this Passover、uh, with a special meal. Um. When Jesus entered Jerusalem to um、uh, to celebrate the Passover, riding on the donkey, 
a great crowd. So many people just came over, uh, came out to meet Jesus. They waved palm branches and lay down in front of Jesus and said, and said Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of, coming kingdom of David. They were welcoming Jesus as a new king. It wasn't like a parade for a king. This, this made our religious leaders more, very, very upset. And it made religious leaders plan to kill him. At evening, Jesus uh, washed the feet. One evening, um, Jesus washed the feet of di his disciples, which was servant's job. But he did because he wanted to show his love toward them. He explained it. He did it because he loved his disciples because he loves and he's them them. He also had a special meal with them. Celebrating the Passover, it was pretty much the same with what they have done before. But Jesus began. Jesus began to talk about a new covenant. A covenant means a promise, just like a one that one that God had. Um, God had made to Abraham a long time ago. Jesus, uh, and now Jesus took a piece of bread and said, This is my body, which is broken and given for you. And he picked up his cup and said, This is my, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. Pour that for you. It symbolizes that just as the Passover lamb died, Jesus would die for everyone. And the blood of Jesus has power to wash away all of sins. Whoever lives in Jesus shall have eternal life. It is the new promise from the Lord our God. Why all they still had the dinner? Judas. Judas, one of the disciples, planned to hand over Jesus to religious leaders who wanted to kill Jesus. It was his betrayer. Judas sold Jesus for 30 silvers. After the Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples went up um, to a garden named Je Gethsemane in order to pray. After Jesus finished praying, he knew the hour came. Judas walked to him with a group of soldiers. The soldiers brought Jesus to the religious leaders. But the religious leaders ha didn't have any authority to kill someone. So they brought Jesus to Pontius Pilate. Pilate found, found out that Jesus has no sin. However, he didn't want to cause any troubles by letting him go. By letting him go safely. Mm, that's why. That's why he decided to do what the religious leaders want him to do. It was, as you know, it was to crucify Jesus. It was the worst punishment given to the worst criminals. The sky in the daytime became dark. And Jesus died on the cross. Joseph, one of the followers of Jesus, was rich and he buried Jesus in a special tomb. The tomb was covered with a huge, huge rock, a big rock, and the tomb was guarded by Romans in case of being stolen. Early Sunday morning, 
three women found out, came there and found out that the big stone, the big stone was removed, and Roman guards had gone. The tomb was empty. The tomb was empty, and angels explained that.、Um, angels, angel explained what happened. Jesus didn't stay dead, but he rose again. He is alive. He is alive. He will show up to people. Later than really, really. For real, Jesus Christ began to appear to his people, first to the women, and his disciples, and then to hundreds.、Mm. Today is Easter Sunday. What do we celebrate today? We celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Jesus died, but he rose again. He was able to come back to life because he is Son of God. Jesus' resurrection is the main event. It is because Jesus proved that Jesus is the Son of God by resurrecting from the dead. It is main event because Jesus fulfilled and completed God's salvation project by. Resurrecting from the death. Death, the penalty of sin, doesn't have any power to control us any longer. Jesus defeated the death, and he got the victory by rising again. The resurrection is very important. Can say that、um, the New Testament is all about Jesus' resurrection and His second coming. Without the resurrection, the cross and the death of the Christ is meaningless. If Christ is not risen, we are still under the control of our sins. However, however, Jesus rose again, finally. Everyone is able to become a child of God. This is why we joyfully celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Let us pray. Dear Lord,、uh, Heavenly Father, thanks for sending your Son、uh, Jesus to us.、Mm, Lord Jesus, thank you for everything that you have done. You are alive, and you are our friend even today. Mm, thanks for giving us joy to celebrate Easter, Jesus' resurrection. Please、um, remember those who don't know you yet.、Uh, please help us share your love and the good news gospel with non-believers. When we reach out to people, please open their hearts and ex- please help them to accept you as the Savior and the Lord. We praise your amazing power, victory over the deaths and the enemies. We love you and pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Application number one: Circle the word tomb and mark the word stone with a triangle every time they appear in today's passage. Number two. What did the women was see when they reached Jesus' tomb? It was empty. Number three. What did the young man dressed in a white robe tell the women? Jesus is alive. 